Hey guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today we're going to dive into our September 2021 reading. I almost said 2001. <laughs> 2021 reading. Um, I have a bunch of great decks. I have my charms here. Let's see what September has cooked up for us. And speaking of cooking, I feel like I'm cooking out here right now because we're still we're still quite hot out here in the desert. What? The desert's hot? Hmm. Weird you say. <laughs> anyway, um, the decks I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using uh, my Practical Magic Tarot, which actually comes in this cute little pouch. I'm going to be using, of course, my Wally's World Oracle, which you can find on my website. And today, for this month, I'm going to use my friend Claudia's deck, the Sacred Mothers and Goddesses Oracle. And lastly, for funsies, I'm going to use the Millennial Tarot. It's not actual like tarot deck, but it's more like an oracle, but it's fun. And I thought I could incorporate it. And last but not least, of course, my charms. So we'll have a little bit of fun with that as well. Okay, so let's see what is happening in the month of September. Remember that um, as you watch like other uh, videos for, you know, September readings, that everybody's just tapping into all the different energy that's out there. There isn't one linear energy. Remember that everything is, um, all at once, all present, yet not present. <laughs> and there's a lot of different timelines, a lot of different things happening. So it's fun to get a unique perspective uh, and, you know, kind of bring them all together and see how that sits with you. So always, you know, run it through your own intuition, um, what connects with you, what doesn't. Um, and then just, you know, take the pieces that, you know, you feel best suit you and utilize that for the month to have your most freaking awesome September. All right, so I'm going to use my Wally's World for a theme. Like, what is the theme for September? So let's, let's take a look here. What are we looking at for September? Okay. Oh, all right. That's very nice. This is actually not a sunset, but a sunrise taken by me. This photo taken by me in Spring Valley. This was looking outside my... Um, master bedroom window um, and so so many possibilities and with this this golden light I feel like there is a lot of um, solar plexus type possibilities so a lot of um, situations in where you might be able to um, see your strength find your boundaries uh, find your voice um, and your ability to roar you know uh, in the face of opposition um, but also I find you know more like pyrite you know abundance in all its forms yes maybe some people might have some cash flow abundance we could all use a little bit of that um, but I just see it just so much positivity shining ray solar energy um, coming through with September um, and I know that not everybody is in the desert like I am so the changing of the seasons which we have you know um, Mabin or Mabon uh, happening kind of like towards the around the 20th 21st um, it is kind of a change in season but that looks different you know depending on where you are so um, although we have you know sunshine here other places you know they've already seen the changing color of the leaves and falling and there's like um, falling leaves not falling <laughs> <laughs> um, some people have had hints of snow already, you know, so uh, that solar energy doesn't always necessarily mean um, the actual physical season, but more the energy that is felt. So just keep that in mind. All right, so let's go ahead and put those cards aside and let's take a look at the Practical Magic Tarot um, for what's going on and, you know, how we can use this to... Um, our best ability for our best and highest good. All right, so this deck, freaking awesome, made by a girl named Chingay Labrador out in uh, the Philippines, out in the PI. Um, she's made a lot of wonderful things, so I don't mind giving shouts out to all my ND deck creators out there. All right, so let's see. What's the practical magic tarot say? What do we have going on this September? the energy like what do we how can we utilize this stuff so we already know that there's a lot of this solar energy solar plexus uh, abundance um, rays of the Sun type energy okay so we have first card is the hermit then we have the five of swords you win some someone loses 
Then we have the Empress, which I find that to be just a gorgeous card. Okay, so let's put these together. So we have two major arcana, so some big things going on for the month of September. Okay, so I, I do feel, you know, with this, um, as I was talking about that solar plexus energy, you know, being able to um, roar in the face of optimism, being able to establish boundaries, being able to find more confidence within yourself. Um, if you're somebody who's been a little iffy with the boundaries, been mm, maybe not feeling as confident as you would like, uh, and maybe you get this slew of confidence, you start feeling a little bit more confident, you start establishing stronger boundaries. Um, sometimes that tends to upset the apple cart with other people, not because um, they're mean or anything, or they want to like invade your boundaries, um, but because they're so used to things being a certain way that when you put up these boundaries and change things up, you act as a mirror for them. And then they are asked to look at their own boundaries and how um, they present their energy, you know, out towards other people and how that affects other people. And sometimes that might be uncomfortable. That's called shadow work. And some people don't know what shadow work is. And so when that comes up, it's like, ooh, this feels weird. So I'm going to try the best that I can to get that person to go back to the way they were so that I can go back to feeling comfortable. And so, that's what I'm getting with that five of swords. It's more of a mental game. Um, and yeah, <laughs> it is sometimes kind of a game, you know, where you're trying to establish these things um, as part of, you know, being an empress, you know, and that has nothing to do with being male or female, but just a, a way of nurturing yourself is establishing those boundaries and knowing your power and, you know, having the confidence that you should. Um, and that's come from a lot of introspection that you guys have been doing, you know, like last month and the previous month and and in years past you know we, we've been kind of in this mode um, and so you're um, continuing to um, nurture yourself and you're also trying to nurture others by trying to get them to see their self-worth and their boundaries because you're trying to help them and sometimes that creates this five of swords moment so it's not um, I would say more of like a head butting but more just like the energy feels a little creepy not creepy what's the other word for that uncomfortable it's just, you know like mm. <laughs> because other people around you don't know how to respond to that because they are faced to look at themselves and that can be very difficult for people so in this instance be the empress and show them compassion you know if they want to push you back into the way you were which you don't want to you know do if you're not comfortable with that then um, in instead of argument show compassion I understand where you're coming from and you know the more you send somebody love the harder it is for that person to continue to like want to pick a fight because there is nothing coming back to them there's no none of that negativity mirroring back and so it's like uh, okay and then they eventually just kind of go about their way but um, so just kind of keep that in mind you know continue to stand in your boundaries with that solar plexus energy nurture yourself uh, which has come from a lot of this hermit mode and introspection and also will help you know to continue to tap into source and meditate um, so that it can get you through these rough patches when other people are confronted with their own shadows kind of being around you and I get that also with the black and white here you know being shadows um, so yeah, so there's that energy. Um, I know probably people are like, oh boy, <laughs> sounds like a raging good time this month. But anyway, we're going to pull a card from Claudia's deck um, to give us a little bit more insight, you know, uh, into this. Like what else we can do with this energy? So remember, remain firm in your boundaries. Continue to nurture yourself. That's a way of um, giving yourself some self-love self-care Ooh, okay card popped right out so let's see what this card is Irene peace and look at this lady here with all her blues and everything she's just chillax you know when people are going cray cray and why you do this and da 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 she's just chill she's like that's cool cool I see that you feel that way you should honor those feelings 
how does anybody come back to that? Are, are they going to continue arguing with you? I mean, I guess they could, but it would be a one-sided argument. And after a while, they might feel a little foolish and then maybe go think on things. And so this is what Claudia's deck is asking you to do with Irene here, is to remain in that chill mode. The more cray-cray people get, the more chill you must get. Chill like my blue sunglasses, okay? So that's the message here. All right, and then for funsies, let's use this uh, <laughs> um, kind of awkward oracle tarot, the millennial tarot, for kind of like things to just watch out for. <laughs> this is so fun. Okay. I pulled the off grid card and it gives you a little bit of information on the back. Okay. So the qualities of off grid introspective, uh, hello hermit, um, introspective, solitary, natural, alternative, the description of the off grid. You see beauty where others do not, in nature and solitude. Escape can bring peace, hello Irene, um, at the cost of modern plumbing. Uh, will you consider using do not disturb mode before you move to a monastery in Tibet? <laughs> the place, tiny house, hello tiny living. The totem is a digital detox. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's kind of like a fun way of just um, reminding yourself that when we go into these self-care modes, we put up our boundaries, we remain just like Irene, super chill, that it tends to rub others the wrong way, not because they have real beef with you, but really because, again, they have to do shadow work with themselves. But that's the cost. That's the cost of, you know, sometimes being the empress you know, to ourself, be nurturing our boundaries, because also we love other people. We want them to understand their boundaries too and their self-worth. So we're helping them too. Um, but the cost of that is there might be friction. You know, there might be that um, five of swords here. Um, and remain in your power, remain in this golden energy, you know, get yourself down there in your solar plexus um, and stay strong. Um, because you are aiding them, even though they might be kicking and screaming and they feel like they don't want your help and da 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 da, you have to remain the example um, because it's in your best interest and it's in their best interest as well. You know, it's it's you know, connect to your higher self, see how this sits with you, and follow that. Okay, but yeah, be the chill master because <laughs> nobody messes with the chill master. Okay, all right, um, let's go ahead and pull some charms. Let me get my millennial tarot off here. All right. Boom, bada beam, bada boom. All right. Let's see what our charms have to say. Um, okay. I think I have some charm. All right. What did we get here? Ooh. We got it. Will you be my shining star? Okay, so we have a little silver star here. That's awesome. We have, I think this is Squirtle. All right, so like our little turtle guy. We have a Ferrari, little Ferrari. We have the Y. So whenever I get numbers or letters, I ask you guys, you know, how that connects with you. So I leave that up to you, what the Y could represent. And you have, yes, I mean, Again, with the positivity, that solar plexus, yes, go for it. Um, let your internal guidance system be the one to help you through this. Um, and just like Squirtle, you know, when people are throwing emotions at you, you know, water at you, you could, you know, use your little shell there, which is AKA your boundaries, your energetic shield, um, but also um, squirting that uh, water out, that emotional energy, why not? charge it full of positivity and peace, much like Irene. And notice that they're both blue. Um, but with this Ferrari badge, by means Mr. Enzo Ferrari, um, that just kind of matches that solar plexus energy that um, here we have horse, but you also think of like lion energy of like, you know, there's so much energy there, tap into it, jam that into your solar plexus. Ooh, kind of like I have like my little sun right here, you know? <laughs> um, and stand in your power so that you can help others to stand in theirs. 
It might be uncomfortable, yes, um, but it's all for the greater good. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this September reading. Let me know your thoughts. If you got other things out of it, please place it down below so that we can kind of expand on it through your guys' intuition. It only makes the reading better. Um, yeah, and let me know also which pieces connect with, connected with you and also maybe what did this letter Y mean to you? But anyway, I'm wishing you a fabulous September. If you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And if you want to catch a reading from me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot. I have a lot of different readings. Obviously, I read with charms, tarot, contramancy, I scry, I have Lenormand, lots of different things over there for you guys to choose from. Um, and I have uh, my salves, my room and body sprays, my Wally's World Oracle. Uh, so check that out. But if you're looking for more witchy items, you might want to check out Desert Cauldron. It's all one word on Etsy. Or find us on Instagram at desert.com. Uh, we have a lot of witchy items, so items that were created by us, local artisans, or artisans from afar, but we made sure that these are one-of-a-kind, unique items for your one-of-a-kind, unique practice. Uh, when you check out our Instagram, we often place items there in order to save money um, not listing them on Etsy, so we save money and you save money as well, so definitely make sure you keep an eye out for our Instagram. And yeah, come dance in the desert with us over at Desert Cauldron. And that's it for me, Spiritual Homies. All my other information is down below for my newsletter, which is coming out today. I put it out the first of every month, and that is it. It's full of witchy goodness. So go ahead and sign up. Uh, I also have uh, information for my Leon Mystery School and all the goodies that I do specifically for my Patreon homies over at Patreon. All right, so I will catch you later. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.